Shalom. 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 We want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh. By Shem Yahusha. By Shem Rechavadash. Give all honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Mosul, mm -hmm. in whom we learn this truth from. And Shalom to you, brothers, that are pushing this word in truth and in sincerity and patiently waiting for our Lord and Savior, Yahusha. What's come? Yeah. And Brother uh, Yaina from the GMS Houston camp. And the Brother Kwabahabad. And we're just going to go in through uh, a lesson of our thoughts as we the most high's book. it be edifying and comforting, man. Mm -hmm. And this is only a message to the elect, those that can receive it, man. Because those are the only ones that are actually going to get comfort from these words, man. Mm -hmm. The rest of these people are going to be in, uh, running around with their, like a chicken with their head cut off, man. Like you're doing now. Yeah, man, because they they can't get comfort, comfort from what is written in the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. Because it's not, this word is not meant for everybody, man. They're going to get comfort in everything else but this word, man. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to go into uh, the form and how these people are losing their minds over what's taking place around the world. And we're just in the beginning. Yep. This is just the beginning of, uh, of what is written, what's to come to this place, man. Yep. If I may, ahead, let's bro. get this real quick. This is uh, Matthew 24, verse, verse 33. So likewise, ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the door. Right, right. man? We're, we're coming to a time where the second coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, we're, we're that much closer, man. It's at the door. But these are things that are, you know, uh, happening as a, as a form of building up to that second coming, man. Right. We're... we're it's leading up to it, man. These are the beginning stages. If I can add, because before, that's Matthew uh, 24. Because uh, uh -huh. before, in that beginning of the chapter, what it said, the disciples came to Yahweh Shai and said, Lord, what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? Right. So before he come back, he described things that was going to happen, that was going to be built up before he come back. Because the Lord uh -huh. also said what? Um... Uh, I come to bring fire on earth, and what would I if it already be killed? Right, Telling you it's already going to be hell, breaking loose on earth before the Lord come back and really bring that hell and that fire. Come. You see? So come. this is one of the things that, as the brother's mentioning, you see? These people, and this this the beginning of plays. Huh? Yeah, like, uh, we were talking about yesterday on the phone, man, the brother's talking about yesterday on the phone, the coronavirus is the beginning. Yeah. Because, wait, hey, you can get Second Ezra 6, uh, uh, 16 real quick when it says, uh, bring plays on Egypt as before. Oh, okay, come on. Yep, yep. You know, man, the brother was talking, we was laughing yesterday, you know, when we was, you know, scheduling to link up today, the Wadi Habashim Al Shah, we linked up, but um, just as Egypt, what was the first plague in Egypt, right? When, when, uh, well, the first wonder, right? When Moses threw his staff on the ground, Moses and Aaron, and it turned into a snake. Come on. Yep. The coronavirus is just a staff man thrown on the ground turning yeah. into a snake. It's yep. just the beginning. <laughs> it's just the beginning. It's, just the beginning. it's the first plague. And look how these people are reacting, man. And that's, but you know, in this lesson, it's, it's much more to go into. It's, it's, we can go on forever and talk about the things that's coming. Yeah. But, you know, we want to touch on, most importantly, you know, you have these doomsday, doomsday preppers. Right. You see? You have these people who go out and buy all the tissue out the store. All the meat, all the water. You see? All the uh, 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 essentials, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Germex out the stores. Yeah. But at the end of the day, the Lord got him in a, a trick bag. Like I said, the deceiver and the deceiver are the most highs, man. Right, right, right. Because at the end of the day, yeah, you buying all these things, but you not buying them for you and your family. You buying them for the elect. Right, right, right. That's, that's, that's crazy how the Lord got it because mm. the people who don't believe in the truth, don't believe in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. They buying those goods to take care of the believers of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Come, because if I may, because they're buying more than they actually need. Mm -hmm. But they're going to use some of that stuff that they're buying. But the other stuff that they don't really need, they're really storing it up for, for the elect of Israel, man. Well, which, which we hope to take part of, man. Which we, which we hope to be of, man. And a, and a point to make the back you up, you're saying they buy more than they need, right? Mm -hmm. In other mm -hmm. words, that's a, another word for saying they have abundance. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. technically... Do you buy more than what you need? Because it's already written and we're going to hit some of those scriptures and said the elect will have abundance. Mm. Y'all buying all that abundance, mm. not for yourself, more than what you need so the elect can have more, you feel me, in those right, times right, to right, come. Right, 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 
ready. Would you hit that uh, real quick, 2nd Ezra 15 and 10? I'm going to do 2nd Ezra 15, verse 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Mm -hmm. Which this, this land, known as America, is spiritually known as Sodom and Egypt, man. I got you real quick, just to <clears> back <throat> you up. This Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies, talking about the Israelites spiritually dead, you know, shall lie in the street of the great city, which is Babylon, the great America, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, yeah. which also our law was crucified. Yeah, man, this isn't talking about ancient Egypt. Ancient Egypt is already done away with in this uh, prophecy, man. Yeah, Ezra's is after Egypt. Yeah, 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 man. This is a, a prophecy to come, man. Mm -hmm. It's talking about this modern-day Egypt, like the brother uh, brought out uh, Revelation 11, verse 8, man. Mm -hmm. So it goes back to 2 Ezra 15, verse uh, 11. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched-out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before, you see? You got it, bro. And will destroy all the land thereof, just showing you that this is a, a different Egypt than the ancient Egypt, man. I will bring plagues again to Egypt as before, man. Mm -hmm. like and all the things always, that took yeah. place in Egypt, well, guess what? It's going to be here, but a lot more uh, amazing, man. Yep. It's going to be a lot more intense, man. The Most High is raising up that heat, man. Mm -hmm. And if you, guys are taking, uh, if you guys are taking this coronavirus so seriously as you are, Shit, you guys aren't going to be prepared for what's actually coming, man. Right. What's actually coming is a lot more intense than what the corona uh, virus got to offer, man. Yep. You people are going to be laughed at, man. Right. The most high is laughing at you now. No. The spirit, we're laughing at Should you. Should we too. laughing? When we yeah, see him in the man. stores bugging out, running, towards the store and running, you know, knocking. We laughing, man. Yeah, man. You panicking. You panicking, man. Come on. You see? Yeah. And that's what we want to go into because you going in the store buying all these things. Like my my, uh, <laughs> my woman told me because she knows somebody who, uh, one of our old co-workers, um, right, right, you know, right. Miss Deborah, you know, um, she worked at Home Depot now. And oh, she was okay. saying how people up in there buying like deep freezers and all kind of stuff just to store the goods that yeah, they yeah, bought yeah, yeah, yeah. in the deep freezers, yeah. bro. Yeah. But you're not starting it up for you. You started it up for the ones who believe on your Howard. Bashim Yahweh Shai right now, man. And we're going to prove that through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh by word of scriptures, man. Come on. You see, you got some more on that? No, that was good. Come on. And we want to hit a, hit an article real quick. And the, the title of it is, and it's also from New York Times, right? And it's, the title says, Panic Shoppers Empty Shelves as Coronavirus and Anxiety Arises. Con, keyword panic shoppers, panic man. Panic shoppers, bro. They're panically shopping, man. They, they, they're getting whatever is uh, in necessity, man. They, mm -hmm. they don't have a use for it, but since they're uh, shopping in panic, it's it, it, they're getting it, man. They don't need it, but shit, since it's there, it's in eyes view, shit, it's, they're, they're panic shopping, man. Hey, that's crazy, because... As the scriptures we going to go through, they getting it for the elect. They might say if you like a certain fruit or a certain type of meat or right, 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 uh, right, right, right. trail mix or whatever, right? Or right, uh, drink. The brother just said they just grabbing shit. Yeah. Now the Lord, bro, hey, it's beautiful. As we're going to get the scriptures, the Lord said they storing it up for us. Certain shit the elect might like, mm -hmm. they grabbing it, not even knowing why they grabbing it, but the Lord having them grabbing it because that's something you like. Right, right, and right. when our hair yeah. break loose... When it, when the Lord leads you to that house or wherever the store is stash at, you're going to have the things you like. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? The yeah. things that I like, the things that y'all brothers and sisters who are watching the video, the things yeah. that y'all like. These people in this world, they just grabbing shit just to get it. Why, why are you getting tissue? What you starting up on tissue from? You see, with the mm -hmm. coronavirus going to stop, the tissue going to stop you from correct, ke catching the coronavirus? No. You see? But it might be in that day, you know? The yeah. elect gonna need everything y'all getting, and everything the elect like y'all getting just for them in that day, man. I'm gonna get this before I, we hop into the article. I want to get this definition. This is our free, dic free dictionary.com. It says doomsday prepper, right? What does doomsday prepper mean? It says a doomsday prepper is a popular term for a person preparing for the end of the world. Yeah. Now, how are we preparing? Off what the scriptures say, off yeah. the off the prophecies. Cause remember, the, the disciples said, "Lord, what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world?" Why? So they could prepare themselves off the prophecies of what was to come. Mm -hmm. Not fool, not mm -hmm. live your, for yourselves, fool. Hey, like Yahweh said, where well, moss and rust do corrupt, and where well, thieves can break through mm -hmm. and steal. You mm -hmm. should live those things. We end up 
this right here. Yeah. Spiritual things that people can't take. Uh-huh. In that day, nobody gonna be able to come up to you and be like, give me with a gun, give me your faith, nigga. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Give me your faith, nigga. Give me your hope when you hop by she mouth shot. No, you can't take that. You can't take that. You see? Uh-huh. No, but they can say, give me your water, give me your, give me your food. You see? Give me your whatever you got corner, but you can't take spiritual things. You see? Uh-huh. It says unique in their beliefs, motivation, and strategies. Talking about doomsday preppers. It says preppers go to any lengths. To- yeah, because if I may add, because that's what these doomsday preppers actually put their trust in, man. Mm-hmm. What they have as, as a as a as a what they have in front of them, man. What they could see. Mm. But we put our place according to faith, man. Mm. Things of not things that uh, I got you, you can't see, man. Well, free the uh, second Corinthians four. And 17, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Right. While we look not at the things which are seen, mm. but at the things which are not seen. Right. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Right, man. The things that we can see, they're of this world, man. They're temporal, man. They're of this earth. You might be stored up on shit, but it got an expiration date. Right. It's fall, mm-hmm. now I got fungus growing up. Yeah. Go ahead, right? But you, but you, uh, these new day preppers, that's what they put their trust in, man. That's what they put their hope in. They, they hope that when it comes to the, the point where all hell breaks loose to the point, because this is the beginning, man. Right. It's going to increase. There's no decrease, man. Mm-hmm. The Most High is turning up the heat, man. Yep. He ain't going to make it be, uh, uh, Turn it down and get it to medium more. No, right, it's gonna bro. get hotter, man. It's hotter, bro. To the point that these people, what they have in front of it, that's what they're gonna put their trust in. But it's gonna fail them, man. That's right. Cause they're gonna they're they're storing all this stuff up for uh, men that Yahweh by Shimei Hashem has already predestined to walk into this to this house to receive, man. That's right. These people don't have an understanding of these things, man. Because why they put their trust in what they can see, man. Mm-hmm. They don't understand that they're really just throwing up for, for men that Yahweh by Shimei has already had already has these things already set up for them. Right, right. And it says continuing on for those they proper definition. It no, says, go over there. It's a lot, yeah. That's all good, bro. Shit. And she, you know, brother got his daughters over here. You know, yeah, chill, yeah. chill. Uh-huh. You know, vibe out with my daughter. So they up in that plan. So it's a lot here for the you know the distraction. Right, right, right. But we gonna continue to you know move on. You know. And that's another thing, not just us, not just us, but our families, bro. Just yeah. to make that, that's all, hey, all through the spirit of life. Real yeah. quick, might as well get that second address too right now, huh? Oh, okay, come. Come. Second address too, man. Because it's not just for us, it's for our families, man. Right, right, You right. see? But I'm going to finish this real quick. It says, for the definition of doomsday prepper, it says, preppers go to any lengths to make sure they are prepared for any of life's uncertainties. And these people right. are not certain. They don't know what's going to happen. They hoping to get better, but we know as prophets, cause what the scriptures already said, it ain't gonna get better. As the brother was just saying, yeah. The most I ain't gonna turn down the heat and say you you high. I'm sorry. Right, 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 no, right, right. fuck that. He gonna turn it up on your ass, man. You see, and it says prepare. They prepare for the worst scenarios: either solar flares, economic collapse, mm. as the, the stock market going down, yeah. pandemics, coronavirus. That's a pandemic. It says nuclear war, World War Three, terrorism, or food shortages. But they're preparing to overcome it, man. Mm-hmm. Well, we're we're in hopes that this, all these things, because we know it's gonna happen. But we're we're looking forward to it. They're looking to actually overcome it and escape it. Yeah, and escape it, man. Hope it don't come. Right, right, right. To be prepared for it. If it do come, they could overcome it, and they could be, you know, built. You know, because Esau uh, built up that spirit of. Oh well, when uh like uh what's that movie um uh, what's that movie uh with uh that one dude uh oh, man where he uh the role? no 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 he uh he went off right from the beginning where he killed that cat to eat it and all that shit the um uh, oh. it starts with an E uh it's slip it's slipping me out it's slipping me too man well anyway it's all good. Uh, in that movie, it, it, it's going into how there's a, a, you know, a nuclear blast and all this stuff. But then they're living afterwards, man, mm-hmm. and they're trying to build up. Their Elysium. Society. No, no, no. Yeah. Well, that that goes into it too. But um, 
It's with uh with that one Jake. He was blind the whole entire movie. Oh, uh, 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 Book of Eli. The Book of Eli. Book of Eli. Man. Yep. Oh, in, in the movie, you know, according to them, the in the movie, the whole everything just you know uh, the world as they know just went away. But they're trying to restore, you know, the society, man. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna happen, man. Mm -mm. You ain't gonna have a, a option, or you're not gonna be in that 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 in in that moment. Overcome all the things that the Yahweh Shimi Ashai has in store for this place, and then you're gonna build up society with you and your family, man. You, that ain't gonna happen, man. Right. But these uh, Doomsday Preppers, that's what they're preparing for. They, they believe within themselves that they're gonna be, oh well, me and my woman are gonna uh, uh, be, be uh, build up the society. We're mm -hmm. gonna have to teach, you know, the children this, that, and the third. That's mm -hmm. their spirit, man. That's not what's gonna take place, man. The inward thought is that the house shall continue forever. Come, man. I I I, I just wanna bring this piece up. Hey, I'm gonna yeah. make a point. Come. The water shamala, the butter shamala for oh, you know, okay. <laughs> yeah, giving yeah. us the, you know the topic of this yeah, lesson. Yeah. The water, you Come know what I mean? Through the spirit, the, through the spirit, brother bro. uh, provoked it, our spirit mm -hmm. to go into this lesson, man. Yep. The water to that brother, yep. man. So there's Hebrews 11 verse uh, uh, verse seven, because we're not doing this just for ourselves, man. So this is uh, uh, Hebrews 11, verse 7. By faith, Noah, being warned of the Most High, of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, preparing an ark to the saving of his house. Mm. You see? And that's what we're doing. We're preparing. Uh, what we're doing is not just for us, man. Like how you, uh, doom day, how these doom daily preppers, they're not preparing just for us. They're preparing all these things that they're gathering up. They're doing it not just for us, but for our, our, our household, man. Because mm -hmm. we're coming, we have fear for Yahweh by Shimei Hashem, man. And we teach our children, we teach our women to have fear for Yahweh by Shimei Hashem, man. And if it be the Most High's will, shit, our house, everything get protected, man. Because the Most High says, well, if, if uh, how, how can I say, how, how do the scriptures say, uh, well, the scripture go into it, man. Uh, prepare an ark for the saving of his house by which he condemned the world. You see, he, con he condemned the world in his, in his household with what, 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 what uh, Noah in that time was doing, man. Mm -hmm. He was, his woman, man, you best believe his woman wasn't uh, talking all that shit. Why are you going out? Right. You know? Why you keep building that ark? Yeah, why are you doing all these things? She was with that, man. She might not believed in it. You know, she because it was for the men. I bet she but, but, after, but in that moment, she believed and she she grew in that fear, man. Just like how our women in these times, man, and women all over the world, man, they're going to gain in that fear and they're going to know to seek after a man that fears Yahweh by Shem Yashan, man. And they're going to get protected over the stuff that these doomsday preppers uh, have built up, man. Mm -hmm. These doomsday preppers ain't going to, uh, what's it called? They're not going to uh, take joy in what they have. Man. They ain't going to enjoy their goods. They're not, man. You might not even see it. It might be you at work. If I, I'm in the country. No, no, no. It might be you at work. Boom, all hell break loose. Economy crash. Martial law kicked off. You work 40 mm. minutes from your job. Come. Yo, your, your children at school, your wife right. at work, and she worked 20 minutes from you. 30 minutes from you. Right, right, right. And she's still 35 minutes from, from the crib, especially us in Houston. Yeah. Yeah. You know, not boom, all hell break loose. You can't just drive to your wife, drive to your children, get everybody, go home. No. How you gonna get home now? The city's the highway, the freeway shut down. How you gonna get home? You see? Now all that stuff that you bought, just let's get that job, all right? Come you got some on no, that? No, 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 let's no. get that job started at 13. Now everything just laid up that footy leg, and that's how the most high deal. You see? That's how the most high deal. You can go ahead. On this job three verse thirteen uh, for thir uh, 27 and 13. Oh, it's a lot of Kind of, kind of. 27 and 13. 27. It's a lot of Oh, good, bro. There's uh, Job 27. And while you getting that, I'm going to finish this doomsday. What it says, it says, And doomsday preppers may go as far as building and supplying shelters in which they can store food and supplies and which will protect against disasters. But the thing is, you can do all you want to protect against disasters, but you don't know when the disaster going to come. You don't know when mm -hmm. the disaster Because you don't know the times. You don't know when your Howard Shai said what's gonna be the times and the signs of that coming. Come. You see? But the prophets know when the prophets gonna be the ones who profit from your uh storing up on the goods, man. You got it up. Right? Come there's Job 23. 27 and 13. Oh, come. come. Like 27 verse 13. Come. 
This is the portion of the wicked man. Of the wicked man, he's Edomite storing up, two thirds of our people storing up. With the Mothai, and the, uh, and the heritage of the oppressors, which they shall receive of the Almighty. Mm -hmm. if, his ch if his children be multiplied, it is for the sword. Mm -hmm. Damn. Mm -hmm. You see, because a lot of people are going to be born for, for vain, in vain, man. Yeah. They're really just going to be born to be put to death, man. Scripture say that in the second answers. Yep. Come. Well, shit, it's saying it right now. This is the portion of the wicked man with the most high. And the heritage of the oppressor, which they shall receive of the Almighty. If his children be multiplied, it is for the sword, you see? For vain, man. man. They're, they're just going to be born just to be put to, put to death, man. Okay, so it says, in his oppressing... Offspring. In his offspring, so like in his offspring, uh, what, uh, shall not be uh, sustained with bread. Right, right man. His offspring will be satisfied with bread. Right, Why? Because you ain't got nothing to eat. Right. <laughs> you stored it all up, but you ain't got it no more. You see? You got taken to a concentration camp, or you couldn't get back home to your little dungeon. You, you had it in, you know? Come. Those that remain of him shall be uh, buried in, in death. Mm-hmm. And his widows shall not weep. Uh -huh, that is the point. Though he though he heap up silver and the dust and prepare it raiment as the clay. Right, though he heap up his riches, his money. Right. Food, water, right? Clothes, right? What's what right. it's gonna say? He may prepare he it. He may prepare, he may gather together, but what's gonna happen? But the judge shall put it on. But the elect gonna put it on. Right. The elect gonna put on them clothes. The elect gonna eat that food. The elect gonna drink that water, man. The elect gonna lay down in that little air mattress you got up and now store it up. You see? Yeah, man, that's what it is. It is prophecy. It gotta yeah. happen, man. It gotta yeah. happen. You and, see? And the innocent shall divide the, the silver. And the right? innocent shall divide the silver. Who is the innocent? The ones whose spirits are without God. The no right. God power, man. That's the innocent. Whose sins are forgiven from the foundations of the world. We gonna divide that. See, if this brother family and my family, we link up somehow. The Lord let us link up, you know? See, if you on the run, Ock, Come. you know what I mean? You on the run, you and your family in the woods. The Lord might have me and my family link up with his family in the woods. Right. Might have us run somewhere. We are running, you know, nighttime. You know, can't really see nothing. We run into a house. And, you know, in that time, bro, you just going to be looking for sleep, looking right. for rest. We fall asleep, take naps. We wake up in the morning. In the same house you ran into, the sun hitting through the windows. Mm -hmm. Over here on the... Wall opposite of us is shining on the food, the water, the canned goods, right, all right, the food. Right, right. We wake up like, oh shit! Doomsday prepper stored that up for us, and the Lord. Hey, what it said? Uh, let, real quick, real quick. This is uh Proverbs twenty and twenty four. Man's goings are of the Lord. Mm. How can a man understand his own way? The Lord gonna lead us to where we need to go in that time, man. You see, we might, you might be running, not gonna know where the hell you going. Come. But the Lord leading you there just so you can get fed. Or, or Elijah. That's why I said the things that I was written for us, I was written for our learning. Mm -hmm. The Most High may have an animal come feed you. You can't say it's far fetched because ravens fed Elijah bread and flesh. It says morning and evening, and he drank water, man. During the famine. Come on. Yeah. Come on, bro. Brother might be in a concentration camp uh, with um, uh, Habakkuk. In, in the Apocrypha, Habakkuk, when Daniel was in the lion's den. The Most High had an angel grab Habakkuk because Habakkuk was fixing food thinking he about to eat. Right. The angel grabbed Habakkuk, brought him to the lion's den to feed Daniel. He said, I don't even know where, where Babylon is. But the angel took him to Babylon just to feed a fellow servant, man. You see, whoever, I might be in a concentration camp, the Most High might lead his brother to feed me. Or vice versa, or vice versa to y'all who watching. But we have to believe in these things, man. Yeah, yeah. You see? That, that's what we put our trust in, man. That's why we're... And it's not a, uh, uh, how can I say? It? It's a bad. It's not a bad thing if you put, you know, if you if you stock up on a little bit more. Say you get another, uh, you know, say two, three more gallons of water. Right. It's not a bad thing, but we're not saying. What we're what we're saying is not to be in the spirit of these people where they're just getting everything and and anything that in sight, man. Why right, say? Because this was gonna keep me sustained. Yeah. We're not putting our trust in what what uh. What this world has to offer, man. Mm -hmm. We're not putting our trust in all that, man. But it's okay if, say, you get you three more gallons of water, you know, whatever crates of water, whatever, you know, if you if you get yourself a little bit more, you get yourself a little bit extra food, 
You know, it's it's not a bad thing, right. but don't put your trust in that, man. Right. Yeah. That's what we're saying, man. Like, we're not in that spirit of these people, man. Mm -hmm. These people are, are are losing their mind, man. Right. And this is just the beginning, man. Right. This is literally just the beginning. It's not nothing to be uh, in the form and how they're acting. They're acting like if it's just gonna be the end all, be all. After uh, you know, with the the coronavirus, man. Mm -hmm. They're actually acting like this is it. No, man. This is just the beginning. It's gonna get worse, man. That's right. Yep. And and if this is the form and how you guys are acting, shit, I can't wait until the point where that RFID chip oh, get presented bro. to you, man. Second, edge is fifteen. Where 16. you have no money for gas. You don't have no 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 form of transportation because you have no gas. When you have no uh no when when you when you uh when you stop being comfortable, man, mm -hmm. you you uh you haven't taken a shower in two to three weeks. Right. When that takes place, I, I just want to see if it be the most size wolf, how the form and how you guys are going to be, man. Because if this is how you guys are acting, shit, what's coming, you guys are going to be bugged the fuck out, man. Women having their periods, but you can't go to the store and get a pad or a tampon. Right, man. It's going to get real, bro. It's going to get worse, It's going to get man. real. Come on, bro. Like Yahweh Shah said a time like never before, he wasn't joking. Right, man. He wasn't just saying, Peter, I'm fucking with you. It's right, going to be a time right, like right, never before. Right, right, no, right, right, he was dead ass serious, man. You see you get set Sir Rocky 11 up, Sir Rocky mm. 11 to 18. I'm a, while you're getting that, I'm going to go ahead and get this article too. Right, right, get this. So this man. is on the New York Times because this is what's happening now. And if it's happening now, bro, this this is the, again, this is the ride being thrown right now and turning into a snake. It's the first play. Mm -hmm. It's the first of many, man. And if y'all acting like this now, how much more on the Lord really, like the brother said, turn up that fire on your ass, yeah. man. But this is on New York Times. It says, panic shoppers empty shelves as coronavirus anxiety rises. The scene inside one crowded store, there was no chicken available. You right? Nor. I feel like y'all. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, how it said, panic shoppers, they get dog food. They don't even got a dog. But they're so, in, so, so much in panic mode, shit, they get it, man. They're going to get dog food. Dog, man. Just because just I see dog food. <laughs> right, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Real shit, bro. <laughs> It says, there was no chicken available, nor beans or chips. Damn. Another had no flu or cold medicine. It says, they grabbed milk and aspirin, paper towels and spaghetti, cans of soup and bottles of laundry detergent, olive oil, and sanitizing wipes, with futures suddenly thrust into the unknown. They did what felt reassuring, panic shock. Mm. It says, as President Trump declared a national emergency, on, and remember, as we're reading this, they not getting all this for them. They getting it for us, the believers. They getting it for the elect, man. You see? It says, as President Trump declared a national emergency on Friday, hordes of shoppers flooded stores across the nation and empty shelves, mm -hmm. looking to stockpile groceries and household items to prepare for uncharity territory, man. Mm. It says inside the tar target at Atlantic. Yeah, because they're unsure of what's going to take place next, man. Mm -hmm. These people don't know what's going to take pl place next, man. Mm -hmm. But we, you know, through the spirit and power held by Shemi Hashem, we know what's going to take place next, mm -hmm. man. We know that it's going to get worse and worse and worse, but we're prepared for it, not because we're physically preparing for it, but through the spirit, the spirit man. The Lord. Go ahead, you can keep yep. It says inside the target at Atlantic Terminal in Brooklyn, customers snaps, snatch hand soaps, lotion, <laughs> condoms. <laughs> you, you see, panic shopping, man. Right. You just get well, anything. Shit, well, when you're uh, in the spirit of trying to uh, uh, protect your life, you, the last thing you're thinking of is sex, man. Mm -hmm. you, you're, shit, you, that's the last thing you're thinking of, but since you're in a panic mode, you're, shit, condoms? All right. Oh, man, fuck something. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? <laughs> It says vitamins and tampons to go through in that right, day. Right. When you, I don't just tell, I'm on my period, let me go check. No, yeah, man. no. It says cold and flu medicines were completely sold out. Damn. It says, one customer said, we saw people, we saw people emergency shopping yesterday and were like, we need to do that too. They just going with the flow. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Just following, man. It says stores were open one with long lines of customers waiting just to enter what would be a disoriented space of packed aisles, backed up checkout lines, and weary employers, man. You know? But as you keep going, you get the gist of what we're going to because we rather get these scriptures, man. 
You see, just the back of what they're saying, everything was gone. Everything was sold out, man. Especially the necessities and things you don't even need. Yeah. You see? So how much of the times to come? But really, you was throwing up the things just for the elect. You got to yeah, bring that out. What is that? Uh, Sirach 11 and 18. Because this Sirach 11 verse 18. And it reads, There is that wax it rich. There is that which... Uh, there is that wax it rich by his... Uh, wor How is it? Uh, uh, weariness. Weariness. Come. Mm -hmm. And uh, pinching. And pinching. And this is the portion of his reward. Right. That's the man who gather up different goods. Come. Gather up money. Gather up food. But it's about to tell you what his reward going to be. You got it. Come. Verse 19. Whereas he said, I have found rest. And now will eat continually of my goods. Right. I'm good. Look, right. look, look. Honey. You know. Honey. Right. Love. We stored up this. We got the water over here. Can't yeah, goods yeah. here. We got the fruit over here. Right, 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 we got the right, meat right. in the deep freezer. You know, we got the, the sleeping bags. We got the generators over here. Come. We good. Come. You know, we good. We gonna eat when it's, you know, all hair break loose. We good. But let's see what the Lord got to say about that. Come. And yet he know it not what time shall come upon him. Yet he know of not what time shall come upon him. You don't know exactly when Jacob's trouble gonna start. You, you storing up all these things. You don't know when all hell literally going to break loose. You don't know the day, the month, the hour, the second. You see? The minute. Right, right, you don't right. know these things. And since you don't know, but you did store it up, who you stored it up for? And that he must leave those things to others and die. You will leave those things to others, which is the elect as we got in Job, and die. Right, man. You at work. You at work. You, you happy. All hell breaking loose. You know what? Well, you hear any of these panics. Right, you happy. Man. You like shit. Oh, I stored up my shit. I went to the store and got all these tissue papers. You mm -hmm. know, I got all this water. So I'm good. I just got to make it home. But you don't make it home. Gone. You don't make it home. Martial law busting your job. Right, Unloading right, right. the clips. You don't make it home. Now your wife, she don't know what to do. Your kids already died at, at school. Right, right, right. You see, they already got all, all taken to the concentration camp. Yeah. Now your house is left desolate. The most high man's going to the Lord. He's going to lead the elect to that house and eat up everything, drink up everything you got stored up in there, man. You see? Mm. Matter of fact, real quick, I, real quick. This is Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus said Yahweh, behold, my servants shall eat, mm. but ye shall be hungry. Right. The ones who serve Yahweh by Hashem outside, they're going to eat. In order way to serve the Lord, you have to be an Israelite, and not just an Israelite, but of the elect, man. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're striving to be, of the elect. It says, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Everything you stored up, your, the, the elect going to eat and drink. It says, behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Mm -hmm. You going to be mad you didn't believe on the truth and right, repent right, when right. it was time to repent. It says, behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry out sorrow of heart. We going to be glad. I'm glad I believe the water you have about Shema was shy. You see? It says, and you shall howl for vexation of spirit, man. Yeah. You see, you're going to regret you ain't believe. You're going to regret that you stored up your goods and trusted in Babylon the Great and the government, Esau, Edom, then trusted in Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, and these scriptures, the secret place, man. You see? Yeah, yeah and uh, it's going to come a time where these stories ain't going to have nothing for you to go purchase, man. Mm -hmm. And out of desperation, you're going to seek comfort, man. And then Esau, that's when Esau's going to come in and say, well, shit, I got something for you, man. He's take this chip. You, you haven't been working. So say there is stuff in the stores, but it's too expensive for you because you haven't been working. You haven't been able to get no income. Well, shit, you're going to have a, a solution to that situation because, like how the brother said, Esau's going to come with you at, with that chip and going to offer you a, a, a money to be put into that chip. Say, shit, even if it's 25 bucks, man. If each one of you, say you and your children, say you got three three kids, <coughs> whatever, two, five, whatever, and each one of them is going, Esau is going to put $25 into that chip, you're going to be like, hell yeah, funny. And, and you're going to think, you're going to be thinking it as if it was something that God wanted you to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is an answer, uh, God's uh, answering my prayer, man. Right, right. And you're going to go get that RFID chip. Just to eat. As, as a source of comfort, man, because... Comfort as a whole is going to be taken away from this planet, man. Mm -hmm. These you, you people are not going to be 
uh, comfort for that much longer, man. Mm -hmm. and, and you guys are going to seek it, man. You, you people are going to seek comfort. And Esau is going to come with that, that, that comfort, which is going to be uh, given to you by that RFID chip. And you guys are going to line up, get that RFID chip, 25 bucks, shit, even if it's $15. It's mm -hmm. going to be more because you guys don't have nothing. You guys haven't been able to work. Right. You guys haven't been able to eat. No nothing, man. You guys have nothing. So shit, you're going to take whatever Esau has to offer and think and be feeling like, oh man, God answered my prayer. Mm -hmm. Not knowing that you're becoming an abomination to Yahweh by Shem Yashai by receiving that RFID chip, man. That's right. But because it's going to give you comfort within you, you're going to think that, oh man, that's a good thing, man. That That's something that you should, you're, you, you should do, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they ain't trusting the things that was written for a time. Right. If you believe in that, you believe, well, look, when a famine of Elijah, the Most High had ravens come feed Elijah, man. You see? You believe in the different miracles that happen, so you don't have to take a chip to get fair. You believe the Most High going to feed me, man. Right, and like always, man, that RFID chip is the, the mark of the beast, man. Do not receive it. If you're an Israelite, should do anything and everything in your power to combat against it, man. Yep. You know, fight against it, man. Put shit... Let let your life be taken before you get the RFID chip, man. Strive for the truth until death. And your right, shall fight for thee. Come, man. You see, I got a precept to back you up. And that, that Luke Come, 12 man. that you brought out before the lesson. And you can break it down too. It's Luke 12 and 13. It says, And one of the company said unto him, talking about your Hawashai master, speak to my brother, right? Because that's what we that's what we serve, man. We serve Yahweh Shai, man. That's what Esau with that RFID chip, that's what he wants. He wants to be called master. Mm -hmm. He wants to be over everybody, man. Keep going. It says, Master, speak to my brother that he divide the inheritance with me. Mm. The things that he stored up. Right. It says that he said it to him, Man, who made me a judge or a divider over you? And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness. For a man's life consisted not in the abundance of things which he possesses. Mm. Your life don't depend on how much you gather, come. how much you save, come. especially in the time to come. It don't matter. You can sit by how much you want. You might buy all this shit and on your way home to drop it off at home, you're getting a wreck and die. Now what? Now right, what? Right. You just waste your money. But it's the, it says, and he spake a parable unto them, saying, Yeah, I was shy speaking a parable. You got it like It says he spake a, par a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. Mm. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. Damn. I got all this shit up in here. Yeah, yeah. Damn, I ain't got enough to store it up. I yeah, bought yeah. too much. You got too much. I need a bigger space to put all this stuff that I bought. Damn. It says that he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be said, merry. Yeah, man. He's going to be comfortable, man. He's going to be happy. He's going to be rejoicing over the things that he has, man. Because he has so much that he's, he, he can sit back and relax and take comfort in what he has, man. Mm -hmm. What it says? It says, but Yahweh said unto him, Thou fool. Thou fool, man. <laughs> you're a fool, man. Stupid. Yep. You actually think that you're you're gonna be relaxing? All these things around you are happening, but you since you have all these things in front of you, you're gonna be good. You fool? Right. You're a fool, man. Right. If that's what you think, man. Yep. It says, but the most high Yahweh said unto him, Thou fool. This night. Thy soul shall be required of thee. Right. Man. Then he, the most high is gonna put him to death, man. Yep. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna take your spirit. Right, man. It says, then after the most high kill him, then whose shall those things be which thou hast provided? Right. Who, 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 whose things are those gonna be for now? Who, who, are, who, who's gonna take pleasure in all those things that you were gonna take pleasure in? Mm -hmm. Who's gonna take pleasure in all those things, man? The elect. The elect. That's man. who, man. Those that uh, feared Yahweh by Shem Yashai, that's who's going to take pleasure in all those things that you stored up and you're like, yeah, man, rejoicing and being happy because you got all these things, man. Mm -hmm. And you're over here like, yeah, man, all comfortable and good, man. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it says, so 
so is he that lay up up treasure for himself mm -hmm. and is not rich towards the most high. Mm -hmm. You don't have a faith in the most high, right? But you have faith in your corner goods. Well, guess what? The most high gonna kill you and give those corner goods to the ones who have faith in him, right? Man. You see, and it says, and he said unto him, unto his disciples, therefore I said to you, take no thought for your life what ye shall eat, neither for the body what you shall put on you. How was I telling us? Don't think about. Man, what we gonna eat tomorrow? Your wife asks you, what we gonna eat tomorrow? What we gonna, uh, you know, my clothes messed up, stain, what I'm gonna put on with you? How much I said, don't worry about that. Son, can I get this real quick? Well, yes. In Psalms 147, verse 11, Yahweh take a pleasure in them that fear him, Woo. and those that hope in his mercy. Woo. And that's what's gonna take place with those men, man. Yep. You, you people are gonna uh, store up all these things, thinking that it's for yourself. But the Most High is, is building all that stuff up for those that fear Him, man. Mm -hmm. And that's how He's going to display His mercy towards those men. Yep. Because they were waiting for Yahweh by Shem Yashai's mercy, man. Because they feared Him, man. Endure. Endure it. Come, man. You endure the, the, the fiery trial, you mm -hmm. know? You endure the affliction, you know? So when the time of affliction come upon the whole world, now the Most High is going to reward us, man. Come. Because we went through what we had to go through real quick. I, if I can, Baba Kashan. Come, come. This first Corinthians, this first Corinthians 11 and 31, it says, For if we judge ourselves, we should not be judged. Right. Mm. If we examine ourselves, the most high don't have to put us through shit. You see? You know? Say, so, you know, if you're going up, the most high gonna check your ass to let you realize, okay, I'm going up. But if you already doing it ahead of time, he ain't gotta check you. But it's a thing. But when we are judged, even if he still judges, right? We are chastening of the Lord. He put us through the fiery trial. It says we are chastened of the Lord that we should not be condemned with the world. Right. He letting us get our fire now, our tribulation now, so we don't have to get it when the world get it, which is going to be worse. Because our tribulation is the same thing people going through now without yeah. knowing the Lord. Yeah. But when our hell break loose, we don't want no parts of that. <laughs> yeah. We don't want no parts of that, so we're serving the Lord now, man. And we know that the elect is going to scarcely be saved, so... Mm -hmm. Because we, we're in the same world as two-thirds, man. But we live around the same, we live around these people, man. Yep. So we're, we're going to be witness, we're going to witness the forming out two-thirds are going, you know, uh, about their business through these times. Yep. And we're going to, you know, feel that, I guess you could say, that hell as well. Yep. But we're going to put our trust in Yahweh by Shimei That's man. right. I, yep, I'll finish this. Uh, no, that was it. It says, uh, Luke. 12 and 22. Yahweh said unto his disciples, Therefore I said unto you, Take no thought for your life. Right. What you shall eat, neither for the body what you shall put on. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens, right? For they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouses nor barns. The, right, the, the, the birds ain't doomsday preppers. Right. They eat when the Lord allow them to eat, but it's the point. And the most high feed of them. He still, even though they don't store up, mm -hmm. he still feed them. So we, let's let's finish it. It says, and the most high feed of them, how much are, how much more are ye better than the fowls? If the fowls don't store up in the storehouses, gather up, do them their preppers, but they still eat. If we better than them as people, servants of the Lord, we don't have to store up either. He's still going to feed us. Right, right. No, this is the beauty of it. The Most High had ravens feed Elijah, bro. They don't store up for themselves. Birds don't store up for themselves. The Most High had the Most High had birds store up for for a man of the Lord. You go, see? Go, go back into the room, slug. No, no, it's all good, bro. Hey, birds don't even store up for themselves, right? right? But the Most High had birds store up and gather for Elijah because they fed him bread and flesh in the morning and the evening. It wasn't a coincidence a bird flying. He just happened to gather food in his mouth, flying, right, right, and right, the wind was right. blowing hard. It just so happened he was over Elijah when the wind blew hard and it flew out his mouth and fell in front of Elijah. Right, right, no, right. it was a, it was it was a, a schedule. It was on yeah. a schedule. You see? So if the Most High fed birds who don't gather and save for themselves, how much more of us, man? So he he gonna feed us. Go ahead, bro. This is a loop. 1 verse 37 for Yahweh, for with Yahweh nothing shall be impossible. Mm. You see, mm. just to back up the point, there's nothing impossible. That, that act that took place with Elijah with that bird, that was something that's possible for the Most High. And he could redo it. That's something that's not, it's not impossible for with the Most High, man. man. There's nothing that the Most High can't, can't do. do. Right. Come, man. Mm -hmm. The Most High is in control, man. And we're, uh, 
We we're aware of His will, man. His power. We're aware of Him, man. Mm -hmm. These people aren't aware of Him. Mm -hmm. Even though they say, "Oh, uh, God, this and God that," they don't truly know the Most High, man. Right? They know God. They don't know Yahweh. Yeah. You know, they don't know Allah Shad, you know what I mean? They right. don't know Yahweh, you know? They, they truly don't put their trust in Yahweh by Shem Yashan, man. They don't understand that everything moves according to His will, man. Mm -hmm. And with the Most High, nothing's impossible, man. That's right, bro. Oh, you can grab Job 5 and 19. Yeah, but I'm going to grab this for you before you get that. You can break this one down, right? The second edge is 2. And we, we'll wrap it up after this. Right, you ain't got right. nothing else. Okay, Job what? Uh, 5 and 19. Okay, come I'm going to grab this one first, okay. but you can break this one down. Come But, you know, we're just going to say, hey, man, hey, don't, we don't have to worry about just storing up. You know, like, we don't have to panic like these other people panicking. Because believe, they storing up for you. Right. They doing your dirty work. Yeah. <laughs> you don't got to go to the store and wait in a long ass line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They stand in a long ass line buying all these things for you, man. Believe Straight that. Up. Straight up. This brother, I believe the most high have people around this world buying stuff for him and his family, his daughters. Come you know? On. I believe the most high have people standing in line buying stuff for my family and my my, my daughter, man. Yeah. My, you know? Brothers, y'all who watching lessons. Sisters who watching lessons. Y'all kids, man. Y'all children. People, the most high have people doing your dirty work. Just like the birds was doing the dirty work for Elijah, getting him food. Mm -hmm. You hit the most high have people doing your dirty work, getting you food and storing up for you, man. Believe that. Yeah. Believe that, man. Hey, we coming into these times where faith got to increase, man. Yeah. Faith have to increase. You have to believe these things, man. Mm. You see? The most high, he, he, he get aroused. He get excited when you... Show forth your faith towards him. That's what yeah. excites him, man. Okay, he really believed now I'm about to bless him. Because yeah. he believed when nobody else believed. We have to be those men and women, man. You see? Yeah, you ain't going to receive nothing if you don't believe, man. Mm -hmm. The most I ain't going to give you a blessing just because. He's, he's going to give it to you because he believed that he is capable of giving it to you, man. Yep, yep. He, when you need him, man. Yep. There's nothing that the most, there's nothing impossible with the most high, man. All right. And Salaki, I can my camera cut out. Come. You know, my storage got full, but we all good. We're gonna keep rolling. Come. You know, I'm gonna grab this for you real yeah, quick. Yeah, this is uh second address 2 and 26. As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish. Talking mm. about the elect, for I will require require them from among thy number. And be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, Jacob's trouble, famine, right? When that day cometh, says for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh. Others shall weep and be sorrowful, mm. but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Right, man. Yeah, man. We're going to be rejoicing. We're going to be happy. Abra Atas, if we be those men, we're going to be rejoicing. Because we're going to have more than we, you know, we're going to have the necessities that the Yahweh Bashim Yasha has provided for us, man. And that just like, yo, that goes into what you said earlier. People grabbing stuff they don't need. Yeah. But why? They grabbing it because they get it for us. Because yeah. that's why we're going to have abundance. They grab a stuff they don't need now, so we can have abundance then. Shit, there's gonna be a guy that don't drink whatsoever, but we're you know we're we're going through the spirit, we're heavy in the spirit, we're you know going through what we're going through, the tribulations, all that, all, all these things, and we're gonna need you know a strong drink mm -hmm. to relax and to calm down and to settle down. Mm -hmm. Well, shit, this guy could be that he's fucking stocked up and fucking. Your strong drink, your man. Your favorite liquor. Your yes, favorite yes. one. Just for you. He you, don't even drink. Yeah, you're going to be walking in there. You're like, oh, man. You're going to open that door, and you're going to be like, you know, kind of, I guess you could say, in that state of just like, man. You know, like if you, when you come home from work and you had a hard day you at work. Sit back like, you, yeah, you just, you just, you just want to get off your feet. You want to relax. When you're going to be in that situation in that day, you're going to open that door with that, in that spirit of just being like, man, I just want to get off my feet. You know, all this shit around me is going going on and you just want to get off your feet. You open that door and there you see your liquor. You're just like, that, that strong drink. You're like, oh, fuck yeah, man. Pour you a drink or two, man. And it's not just liquor, but the one that's your favorite one. Yeah, man. <laughs> you're going to see your favorite drink and, 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 and the, 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 the juice that you like to mix it with. Mm, right, right. Man, with the bag of ice. Right with ice, with ice, with ice, with ice. And chips and dip, man. <laughs> right. I mean, and chips and dip, you, man. You, you will be... Shit. Come on, man. Hey, the Wadi Hawa by Shima Shah. But these are things we have to believe in, man. Come and look, on. if we believe in these things, how much more the things we don't even believe in that the Lord gonna do? Right, man. You see? I'm gonna yeah. finish this for you. It says, Be not weary for when a day of trouble and heaven is cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. The heathen shall envy thee, 
but they shall not be able to do nothing against thee, save Yahweh. Right, man. Because we're going to have the protection of Yahweh by Shem Yashah, man. These, these are the heathens ain't going to be able to do nothing towards us, man. And we got to put our trust in Yahweh by Shem Yashah, man. Mm -hmm. that, that the Most High has our back, man. Because these other heathens, and, and, and that's going into these other nations, but including our own people, man. Because the scriptures consider two thirds to be yes, like, yeah. like onto yep. heathens, man. Yep. They're going to want to put uh, bring uh, harm onto us, but they're not going to be able to touch us, man. Mm -hmm. Because Yahweh by Shem is going to have our back, man. Yep. Yep. Everybody might be skinny, looking yep. frail, hungry, you know, but one of these leg walking around looking healthy, smiling. Yeah. They like, hold on, what the fuck? Why the why he looking like everybody else? Yeah. But they ain't gonna better do nothing to you though. You see? And it says, and it's the point we were just mentioning about our kids, right? It says, my hands shall cover thee, so that thy children shall not see hell. Mm -hmm. Even our children ain't gonna see the destruction of our family. They're right. gonna be eating with us, man. Yeah. You see? And that's what we fight for. We can end it off that Job 5, right? 5 verse uh, 19. Verse 19. Come on, this Job uh, 5 verse 19, he shall deliver thee in six trumpets. Trumpet. Yeah. Yep. Even seven, there shall no evil touch thee. Now what's those six troubles? Those troubles? Oh, troubles. troubles. Yeah, what's troubles. those six Come. troubles? Martial law. Famine. Come. Right? Uh, 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 race wars. Right. You see? Uh, what else? I, um, the RFID chip. RFID chip. You see? A time like never before. The Most High gonna deliver y'all and law willing us through the time of those six troubles, man. Right. He gonna get you when the race walls pop off, he gonna find a way to keep you surviving in that time. Right. Concentration camps, he gonna find a way to, even, even if you get grabbed up, he pestilence. Go, pestilence, you know? coronavirus. Yeah. He gonna find a way to not get you infected with that disease. Right. Even if you get thrown into the concentration camp, he gonna find a way to make you out. You Make it out. You can't say, well, no, if I'm up here, I'm up here. No, he got peed out of jail. An right. angel can't get peed out of jail, man. Uh -huh. You see? He gonna deliver us from all these troubles and then it said in the seven, what happened? Uh, um, in the seven, there shall no evil touch me. And in the seven, what's that seven? What's the last trouble? What's the last trumpet? Those missiles coming okay. down and burning everything. So if he deliver you from all these things, the last play he gonna deliver you from, man. Just like Egypt. Egypt was, the Israelites was the, uh, delivered out of Egypt from all the plagues that came unto, unto Pharaoh. You see? Mm -hmm. And what was that? What was the, uh, the Israelites Seventh trouble in Egypt when Pharaoh came against them, it was no water run, they were back was against the water. That seven was the most high opening up the sea. Come, you see, Come. that's that seven man, the most high opened it up. So, for us, our seven is when those that fire come, we're gonna be delivered from that, bro. Sure. And what else to say, all right? Uh, verse 20 In famine, he shall redeem thee. In famine, he shall redeem thee. Why? Because he had those doom, they prep a storing up stuff for us. Go ahead, Come. in famine. Shall shall uh in famine he shall redeem thee from death and war from the power of the sword. Race wars, concentration oh, camps, you know. Thou shalt be hid from the scor uh, scourge of the tongue. Mm -hmm. Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Right, and what's gonna happen when the destruction come? At destruction and famine, thou shall laugh. Why now? Why would somebody laugh in destruction and famine? Right, man. Because you first, you being protected. Well, first, you knew it was going to come anyway. Second, you being protected. And the things that you said and believed in are happening. You're going to be excited, man. Right, man. You go, and you're going to finally be happy to see that these proud, man, that's, bro, that's one thing I can't wait for. I, bro, the proud looks at these Edomites. Oh, yeah, man. Ooh, these, these women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, it's like, Bro, sometimes you just want to punch through a wall because how proud these people are, bro. Mm. And how selfish and how arrogant. It just piss you off so much, bro. Like, they think everything a game, man. Yeah. When you see those smiles turn into a frown, when you see that that, that arrogance turn into, you feel me? Sorrow. Man. Sorrow, boy, that's going to excite you because you've been waiting for that, man. That's why we're going to laugh in that time. Because yeah. we've been taken care of and they not. We've been looked at as losers. But at my job, I, I'm the youngest one at my job, right? I was telling Brother Azawaz, it's at camp, uh, it's Friday. At my job, you know, we got the little 401k plan. Mm -hmm. I'm the youngest one at my job, so it would seem like I would be the main one to want to do the 401k because mm -hmm. I get more money. Bro, everybody at my job, and like, if everybody sign up, we get a bonus as a company. Mm -hmm. Everybody think I'm stupid because I'm the only one that didn't do the 401k plan. Oh, okay. 
So they looking at me like, you, nigga, you stupid. And I'm the only black person now, that's the thing. Yeah. So they're like, this nigga stupid. But I know, bro, for what? I'm not about to be working till I'm 65 and 70. Yeah, yeah, we're not. Man, yeah. what the fuck? I don't care about that. I know it's gonna come to an end kind about within this year, if not this year, next and the next, right? But the thing is, they think I'm stupid, but who gonna get the last laugh? Mm -hmm. Us, man. Huh. Us. That's why we gonna laugh, because. Now they're going to be stupid and we're going to be looking like the wise ones, man. Right. That's why we're going to be excited. That's what we look forward to, man. That's that's why we, as this world and, and trouble and anguish and, and panic, we excited, man. Because yeah. we've been looking forward to this, man. Yeah. Uh, let me just get this. Bring it Because there's Proverbs 1, verse 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. Mm. I will mock when your fear cometh. Woo. So even the most high is in that spirit of laughter, man. I mean, y'all was shot up there probably like, yeah, 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 yeah man. man. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing, mocking you people in the manner and how you guys are acting, man. When this is just the beginning. We're not even to the point where people are eating other people, man. We haven't even got to that state, but you guys are acting like if this is it, man. Mm -hmm. The most high is laughing at you people, man. Right. And, and, and likewise, we are laughing at you people, mm -hmm. man. Like how it said in the scripture, what was that? Uh, Job 5 verse uh, 22? Yep. Okay, come on. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou, thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Mm -hmm. For thou shalt be in uh, uh, league. league with the stones of the field, and the beast of the field shall be at peace with thee. Hey, as the scripture said, like in that movie, I am right. legend with Will Smith. Wild beast gonna be let out, bro. If the Most High opened up the prison gates for Apostle Paul, Apostle Peter, you don't think he can open up these gates for these wild animals? You could have a Leviathan. You could have said newly created creatures, blowing right, out man. fire from their eyes and shit. Bro, you could have these, yeah. you could have these different animals roaming around the streets, but the thing is, they gonna be in league with us, the elect. Right. Just like when Daniel was thrown into the lions, then why didn't the lions eat Daniel? Because they was in league with him. Mm -hmm. A lion was thrown. Brothers, we're edified through this video and got comfort through the spirit, man. It's, it's a lot you're getting cut off again, so we just, we just go ahead and end it. You know, Lord willing, it was that a fine. Go ahead. Come, right. man. So, with that, we want once again give all praise and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, Rechabadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and whom we learn this truth from. Man worthy of being uh, given double honors to. And shalom to you, brothers, that are pushing this word in truth and in sincerity and patient waiting for our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, who is to come. Shalom. Shalom.